Be careful. My agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. Yeah, Gat. You've been living outside the Kyun for years now, Iron Bull. I like Just how wanted to make sure your reflexes disdain. hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Ouch. <laughs> You know, sometimes black wall it annoys me. Oh, I thought I was doing a an attack, apparently I was not. Back into Vinter Mage. No soldiers to guard you here, no slaves to wait on you. It's the lack of fashion that really strikes fear into my heart. You know nothing of fear. And do you intend to teach me? No. You serve the Inquisition, and the Ben Hasrath wish an alliance. For now, that is enough. Hmm. Those boxes are pretty cool. You know, floating boxes. Sort of my bag, baby. Whee! Where the hell they go? Why am I not having... I want a thing. Oh, goodness. What happened? I'm, there's like a wall here. Alright, well. Okay. Can you make out any of your mercenaries down there? Not from here. Probably a better view once we take the Vince camp. Worried? They're my men. I've been with some of them for years. Yep, there's a wall. <laughs> Alright, let's see where we go. Get ready. We're close. Well, of course we're close. We can see the damn camp from here, dude. Got you! Please stay off my mage. He's sometimes useful. chest. Ooh. A helmet for, um, yeah, signal the dreadnought. All right. We're clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the dreadnought. Chargers already sent theirs up. See them down there. He's so proud of them. They're like his kids, you know. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. Oh, 
That brings back memories. <laughs> nice one. Crap. Look at them all. There are quite a few of them. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashoth. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashoth. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance. And for the Kuhn. Aw, save your men. This is so sad. Hold the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. All these years, Hisrod, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? Don't call him his rod. His name is Iron Bull. I suppose it is. No way they'll get out of range. Won't be long now. Bull, when the Dreadnought sinks. Sinks? Dreadnoughts don't, don't sink. sink. He's got pink on his outfit. I like it. <laughs> Come on. Let's get back to my boys. Poor Iron Bull. And it's a hard decision, you know, because now he has to be... Salvashaw. Yeah, I'm just like sitting here. Oh, conclusion that they painted markings on their faces and bodies are not, in fact, solely for ceremony or provide practical benefits. Oh. Mm. Excuse me, burp. Not much of a lady. Sorry. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. Sorry, Iron Bull. So much for that. You did the right thing. I'm proud of you, Bull. <laughs> Thanks, boss. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor. How are the Chargers? How did the Chargers come out of the fight? Just fine. Thanks to you and the Chief, we had plenty of time to fall back. Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sack meat for the charges tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. Oh, that's so sweet. All right. Let's check on Cassie here. Oh, oh, this is. Good book. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, um, 
course you don't. Yes, because I suddenly went blind. Oh, that. Just reports from Commander Cullen. You're an excellent liar. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. <laughs> it's a book. Uh, obviously. I that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields. The latest chapter. Oh, that's his, like, uh, ranchy. It's ranchy books. So, you've read them all? The latest chapter meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. She's read this one three times. You! I told you to stop spying! You read it out loud to me. I don't like the captain either. I <laughs> never did that! <laughs> it's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. Me? No. I would never. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. Pretend you don't know this about me. <laughs> I love this one so much. And then I run straight off to go tell Varric. Why is it whenever I'm walking around they're like Inquisitor? Like they have a question. I hear that. Need something? Special. Uh, Cassandra wants a book. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. Mm-hmm. She's a big fan. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? Mm-hmm. Wait, did you say the romance serial? Huh? She'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. Oh, you that should. Book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Cassandra seems to like it. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest <laughs> thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial? For Cassandra. Yep, that about sums it up. Terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. Okay. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I'm so excited about this. I have no idea. Cassandra. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. I always get distracted with his chest hair. This is your doing. Hmm. And another. Oh, yes. Do you really think I'd miss this? Well, if you're not interested, <laughs> you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... Thank you. Thank Varric. 
Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. <laughs> I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Oh, completely worth it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Ooh, look at my influence going up. What? I am so far in the rain of the lion, eclipsing the eye of the empire. Wee! Yeah, let's see Sarah's here if there's anything. Something, something. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you later. I'll be back if I need you. You can't jump out that window, by the way. I tried. Damn it, Cole. Oh. All right, let's go see if Black Balls ran. I know, after I go do a mission, I just run around and talk to everybody. At least try to. Lately, I've been having a bug where every single time I go somewhere, like, there are certain people missing. Kind of annoying, but, you know, you do, you do what you can. Let's see if Blackwall has anything new. Something on your mind? Ugh, we'll talk later. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't run. I don't run anymore. Alright, well, Cassandra's not there. Er, yeah. Josephine, I need to go do something for her. Liliana, Solus, Dorian. Let's go there. I forgot those birds are loud. Hey, Liliana. I'm listening. No, no, you carry on. I'll leave you to your work. Hey, Dorian. Anything new? Something you need? No. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. I will attempt it. <laughs> Solace, what are you doing? Greetings. All right, goodbye. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Um. I think that's everybody. Let's go to the war table. Your worship. Oh, no, you know what? Going to Val Royo. I shall be taking with me Sad Iron Bull. Um, Blackwall and Sarah. We're not actually doing any fighting. We're just meeting up with Josephine and having a chat. The crows and queen Madrigal. Madrigal? Madrigal? Mad Madragal. Mad Madrigal. <laughs> oh, the Templar Order traditional role. Solace. Cassandra, I understand our first order of business. Okay, never mind. Mm. Uh, I think one of my favorite songs is the one about Sarah. I was getting into that one. Okay, she didn't know. Yes, indeed, there is a song. 
written about Sarah that you can hear in the tavern. For a second, I thought this guy was wearing a Santa hat. He's got a sad face. Sad face mask. Hi, city guard. Hi, other people. Josephine! Josie, where are you? There you are, sweet pea. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Poivre's invited us to his mansion, not far from here. Well, that's good. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Let's go see you, Comte. Buzz of the way. <laughs> oh, weekend enemies deal less damage. The Magister's Knees, Red Templar Archers. Take aim, Red Lyrium isn't the weak stuff. They feed you all your life. The song is deeper. It's got a will of its own. Tame it and it will do things the Chantry's instructors never dreamed of. Listen, focus on the arrow in your hand. Okay. Ooh, nice house. My nips are very shiny. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Bavert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. This seems dangerous for you. I hope helping us doesn't endanger you. Hardly. Even a brush with someone as well known as yourself can become a great asset in Valroyo. Giving you the identity of those who murdered Lady Montilly's messengers seemed the least I could do. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archive. Contract for a life. How can he drink with his mask all like up over his face? To overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. You don't seem surprised. Overly complicated assassination plots are part of Orlesian politics, I take it. They're all too common, I'm afraid. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duty. The contract's ancient. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? Why do I like the sit and gesture like a man? Contract inquisitor. Or legion businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, your worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary <coughs> by its standards. What's the plan, Josephine? I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine? The Du Paraquettes still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a Du Paraquette could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montigny. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to hunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. Or not to have said you'd heard rumors, at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is all, eh? Even an assassin's word is his bond. Was there ever a Comte? Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. And then to be tied up later. I knew this was too convenient. I thought you were remarkably well informed about a secret assassin's guild. Uh, we are hardly secret, my dear Inquisitor, just normally much more reclusive. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, Monsieur. 
Your idea to seek out du Paraquet to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why the warning? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in the contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, Willie. May we conclude with my departure? You can leave. Go then. Good day, Your Worship. My lady, I pray we'd never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyfang. I'll feel safer with the castle's walls around me. Here, Do bee. you hear something? Mm. Look oh, at the bee. Goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Mm. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... A locksmith, then? Mm. As oh, you wish. My goodness. Just leave him. Mm. I ain't gonna locksmith that. <laughs> Back to Skyhold we go! The Inquisitor's mark of the Rift ability instantly destroys demons near Phaedrus. That's handy information. The Conclave, it has been a year or a little more than chaos. Yes, the mage voted to dissolve the Circle of Magi, but I will point out, this boy came only after increased restrictions were placed on them, following the unfortunate events in Corkwall. What other choice did they have? Yes, the Templar Order abandoned their duties and elected to pursue the mages to bring them back in line. That's as far as it made it. Okay. All right, I think this is about where I'm going to be saving and heading my buns to bed. But um, thank you guys for watching. I had fun. And I will be back probably tomorrow evening. Yeah, all right. So, good night. <laughs>